to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join our various gaming groups as we play the 5th Edition of Dungeons & Dragons. And maybe just hang out and chat about gaming in general. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. I assume Dargas knows what officers look like. Well, they're, he, they're wearing uniforms. I mean, you can clearly yeah. see okay. that these are, which, these are sailors. Okay, we don't discuss. Yeah. Okay. Which means be careful with just shooting things blindly. Anyone with accolades is important. They got stuff on the shoulders of their armor. They're, they're an officer. Okay. Silly military. Okay. Good they're good. easy way to identify officers. I need that for that. And Theo, uh, you totally see some goes. sailors pop up on deck, and they're 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 both looking for which side of the ship is closer to jump off. Something's going on below deck. So what's Gunny gonna do? Um, Gunny is going to go. Sorry, I don't know why this turtle is in my way. Um. Then he's going to he's going to walk over how many can I tell is there there's one or two more levels to this boat? Uh yep, you know that there's a stairwell over here, so there's at least one more level down. You're assuming there's probably two. You've been around enough Gunny, boats Gunny's, to count decks. Gunny's gonna go down go down the next step. He's gonna go down and just kinda pop out down here. So and, uh, you have Gunny step on the corpse and come over this way, then come over this way, and 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 then go down. And he's going all yep. alone, out of sight, below deck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. As uh, yes. Gunny totally goes below down, there's, li- there's lights lighting the place up, and he looks, there's... You know, he acknowledges there's lots and lots of cargo containers down here, and he just looks around and just shrugs in gunny style, waiting for an order. Okay, can he, does he see anybody down there? He doesn't see anything threatening. Okay, cool. I mean, nothing shot him yet. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Are there any specific orders you're giving gunny, like defend yourself if attacked? Yes, definitely. Okay, just just check. Or let me know if anybody let me know if anybody shows up. Like, should we warn them? <laughs> it's like, look, <laughs> if you attack us, though. So... Well, they might be confused. They might think he's their steam jack. Is what I'm hoping. They're just like, oh, it's a steam jack. I mean, it's not a big so boat. They make... probably saw all their steam jacks, which was which was probably just one. Yeah. So we want to make sure Gunny's not killing the officer. I mean. Okay, I'm going down with Gunny. We need to spray <laughs> paint on Gunny. If you start something, you won't like the results or fi- fuck around, find out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you can read this, you're too close. <laughs> yeah. I'll, just, I'll, I'll tell Gunny to restrain. You can read this, restrain you're already anybody. dead. Try not to kill it. <laughs> no, no, no taking hearts right now. Okay, so uh, Callus, what you doing? Uh, catching a breath, you know. Feeling the yeah. gut wound you've got. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, gonna have a scar from that. I don't think I have any potions. I don't believe. I do. 
Yeah, but you're busy trying to loot and kill people, so that's all right. <laughs> you need like a heal. I guess I got alchemical rest- restoratives. Let's see. Be like holler up, holler up the stairwell. <laughs> hey Theo, can you toss me one of those feel good juices? Yeah, it looks like did, what I'm gonna have to do. Did we happen to, to find anything when I looted the guys before? I don't have anything, so yeah, I come up. The uh, the quick sailor bodies you rolled off the deck, you found four gold off of the two bodies that you rolled. I like how we left me down in there. We have no idea if floor three or four is like cleared of enemies, and Callus is like, peace out. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you don't die. He did take a almost lethal gut wound, I mean, after all. Yeah. <laughs> he, he is pretty hurt. Perspective. <laughs> I mean, you, you clearly saw there's blood coming out of his armor. Hey, I guess it's still valid. I'm going to start looking. Looking around and see what I can find. So uh, as you get down there, it's very loud down there, by the way. I mean, on the ab- I... above deck, you're hearing the thum, 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 thum. Down here, your magic mechanic ears are, are, are perked because you're hearing the thrum, 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 thrum of these ste- dual magic steam engines. So it's it's very loud down here. But uh, remember, you did do the intimidation as your skill check. So as you give it a quick cursory glance, you see lots and lots of cargo down here. Big, heavy set locked doors right here. Big, heavy set locked doors right here. You're pretty sure this is the engineering area. Because the vibration and sound coming from here, and the fact that there is tons, these giant barrels are all of coal. And these barrels are of coal. You're pretty sure and that's you know, the engineering like, area. Oh, the coal. <laughs> <laughs> Gunny makes um, a, a hungry mechanical steam jack sound. I didn't know. I have thieves tools. Can I try to fist this this right here, this door? Does this look like a lock that could be picked? Uh, it's a lock that could be picked, but it's a very difficult lock to be picked. And remember, you did already do your action. Oh, I just was wondering if it could be picked. It, you could probably give it a try. You Does could... it look like it'd be easily blown up? Uh, no. <laughs> this is a iron reinforced door with a very complicated looking lock. Let's not be blowing up my ship. <laughs> I, was, and, I, was, I was talking more about the lock. And, and you're not really a sailor, but you're pretty sure this level's underwater. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, technically, uh, I've already done my action. Can't go anywhere. Oppenheimer uh, taught us one lesson everything can be blown up. <laughs> I'm just gonna these these kind of if I'm near anything I'm gonna kind of start looking and seeing um, if I see anything that I would want to steal. As she turns around and does a Disney princess, a choir. Thing. Everything sure. under the sun. I want that. I want that. I don't even know what that is, but I want it. Yes, that's one of my character traits. I, if it's not nailed down, I'm going to steal it. So here I steal away. <laughs> so, uh, Gargosh, you, you're telling the engineers full full steam ahead. The ship's doing this nice, you know, good 15 knots clip. You're feeling nice. good. You're like, if only this ship was covered with about 20 more troll kin and 20 cannons, what we could do. I could, t- <laughs> I could conquer the world. <laughs> As you totally see this greasy little speck up ahead, that's the island you're looking for. Anything in particular you're doing other than maintaining the course? Uh, maintaining the course and dreaming of the glory days. Past and future. Okay, so Theo, Callus is coming up on deck. He obviously has been Hold shot. My gut. <laughs> I think he's a like, medical hey. alchemist. I'm going to give him a uh, draught of uh, alchemical restorative. And I think I have to roll that. And what does that I... do? Okay, hold on. I love the way alchemists pronounce healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> 
They make such fancy. I thought I had it as a um. Don't worry. She puts. Casting she puts a uh, smidge of brandy in it to give it a good kick. <laughs> Just a tankard full of brandy helps the medicine go down. <laughs> All good, right? It's it's for medicinal purposes. It keeps away the better. scurvy. Might not heal you, but you feel better and not there. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had it as a uh, a clicky. But I guess I don't. So hold on, let me go down to. Wow. There's just so many. Okay. <laughs> so um. So many recipes. Uh, there it is. Yeah, it's like yeah. Okay, fast acting pharmaceutical. Uh, alchemical pharmaceutical promotes rapid blood clotting. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. So, okay, so the character who consumes it, um, you get to spend one hit die. Um, additionally, if the ah. character, or if the creature taking damage from wounds or ongoing bleeding effects consume the alchemical uh, restorative, uh, the damage effect ends. So it would also end any, uh, you know, uh, so, so yeah, basically rest, just you using spend a hit die. A hit dice, okay. Now I need to figure out, because I didn't update my hit dice here, what my hit dice was for this guy. You should be a 1d8, right? I think so. 1d15. I'll go with that. I'm sure it is, because it's just sitting on 4, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's not right. I'm like, but, yeah, I don't think it's higher than that. All right, so spend one, and let's roll a... Yeah, you're totally D8. not a D4 for a uh, gunfling, gunfighter. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Let me look at it real quick while you do. And if it, if it yeah. isn't, we'll give you the best of the two rolls. Yeah. As he takes the shot of the medicine and it goes down well. Yeah, three points. It's it's fine. It's better it than helps. nothing. Yep, it now yep, makes it, it so you could take another shot of that strength. <laughs> so head on back down there. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's orders. You got your medicine, now go below deck. All of a sudden, you can totally sense his previous life is kicking back in. Hey, she seems all in control down there, like, you know. As, by yeah. the way, your hit dice are 1d8. Confirmed. Okay. But yeah, I was pretty sure you are ranger-esque. Yeah. We do need to, well, we should make sure it's secure, but we do need to start hunting for the cargo. Yeah. I mean, and let's not forget, there is the possibility if somebody gets to the engineers, you can tell them to stop the engines, and that would suck. Yeah. Because if the engines got stopped, stopped, then somebody had to be down there shoveling the coal and getting the engines working again. That would just be annoying. I mean... <sighs> yeah, but we have Gunny. <laughs> <laughs> A steam jack putting coal inside a steam engine and told not to take some for himself. <laughs> well, nobody's told not to take any. As he would go up there to the ship one and say, you, one for one, one for me. One, that's what I think. <laughs> little wine for you, little wine for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, it is Mia's turn down below deck. You, you sense the engines have something important because, you know, engineers. And you sense that there's something behind the important looking locked door. I, I'm not going to go mess with the engineers because if they make this boat stop, I'm never going to hear the end of it after shooting that dude. And these two guys uh, jump off the boat. Uh, I, I mean, part of that is on me, shooting that dude. So I am going to... Over here, and I'm going to attempt 
to um, pick the lock. going to attempt to pick the very complicated lock. Okay, as she whips out her thieves tools and immediately goes to the very large door and starts to pick the lock before checking for traps. Nice. <laughs> yep. Go ahead and Because I don't know that I know how to do that. I love the initiative. Now, well, That's technically right. anyone can investigate, up. but we'll find out the hard way. Go ahead. And don't forget I have a restorative on my body, guys, so <laughs> go ahead uh, and click I... on thieves tools and it'll ask you what okay. attribute you're using which would probably be something like intelligence is what i'd go for if i were you or you oh, can yeah. even go dexterity i mean either or you're both good my intelligence yeah my intelligence it is a very high. difficult lock apparently wow. not that difficult as you go <laughs> click, click, clack, click, and you're like, clever girl, you put a decoy in there and bypass the little thingy and go click, and the lock clicks open. You feel very. And nobody saw it but Gunny and I. I'm so hot. <laughs> very well. You, you are very impressed with this. You look back at Gunny in triumph as all of a sudden you hear a cracking sound. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> and as soon as you hear the cracking sound and the door starts to open, just a just a smidge, a poof of bluish green gas comes out of the oh. the screw holes in the lock. Oh no. Someone had That's some fine. kind of booby trap. Give me a constitution save. You want to okay. roll high. <laughs> That's not high. <laughs> As you look back at Gunny with the, the look of achievement on your face, and you and look back at the cracking smell, the next thing you see is your eyelids wink, wonking out. You know, that classic comic book anime eyelids slowly closing as you hear a thunk and you're like that sounded like something landing on wood that would hurt if that was my head as you pass out cold from the knockout gas i have a gas mask i'm gonna <laughs> go down <laughs> as gun is just it's looking it's at you and trying to be quick so uh something's That's happening funny. She's taking uh, a nap. Go figure. So, something's happening <laughs> below decks. And uh, what's Gunny going to do? Now, in all fairness, uh, be mindful of Gunny's intelligence. <laughs> I just assume Gunny's going to come close to me because he knows something's wrong. <laughs> and just kind of, he, he's not intelligent enough to, like, you know, try to do anything but just stand there and he maybe kind of bellow and protect me if anything tries to come out. He looms over you and th th does that dog headed head tilt. Mommy? Yep. <laughs> and when I don't respond, he, how he howls for the others and just kind of straddles over me and is ready to defend me if need be. Aww. So, Callus, what you doing? Now that you feel a little better, your gut, yeah. your gut seems to be staying on the inside. It's a good thing. Never did see where that ball went, if it came out at all. That's, <laughs> that's going to suck pooping that out in a week. Uh, uh, and, yeah. and there's a gonna guy do. running up above decks, getting ready to, like, jump off. Yeah, going to do what the captain said. Go down and see what's happening. Oh, as you come down. <laughs> Move that guy out of your way. As you come down the stairs, you clearly hear someone running full bore on the other side of this little wall here. Yeah. Would you like to poke your head around? I will poke around with the pistol or with the rifle barrel preceding me. Okay. And hold them to stand down. And, and as soon as you do, you realize that this, this figure here is an officer. He has his sword and pistol in hand, and he is running 
his, his intent was, of course, to run to the engineers, but he apparently made a wrong turn. Instead of going this direction, he went this direction. Yeah. So I tell him to stand down and drop his weapons. He does not appear to be standing down or dropping his weapons. As he looks at you, he says, Pirates! Killers! Well, then... Don't shoot it, though. Don't shoot it. We're going to have to make a snapshot. Yeah. Let's Stick see. around so you got a got a shot there. I mean, you could take a leg out or something. Use your pinning Just shot. Just a foot. Put a bullet through his foot in the plank. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's kind of what we're doing because we're gonna do pinning shot. And are you aiming to go non-lethal? You can always tell me that. I mean, if you if you want to. Yeah. So, well, I'm using pinning shot as part of your shot. You fire a trick shot that forces your enemies to take cover. Uh, when you use this trick shot, choose a creature you can see that is within your weapon's normal range, and make a ranged attack against the creature. If the attack hits, the target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be knocked prone and become frightened until the uh, start of the next turn. Nice. All right. So I will use that, spend my trick shot. And here we go. We got healing draughts, so, you know, if I happen to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said non lethal, right? Yeah, I know. Non lethal. Okay. So 13. 13. You take your shot, you fire it, and it goes ping off his breastplate. All right. It's higher than 13 AC. And it saved his life at this exact moment. Jerk. You will not end this ship's mission. <laughs> He's either high on adrenaline or the bullet didn't hit. That's what he thinks. Yeah, I just grin at him. He honestly thinks he's getting off the ship alive <laughs> with that. You know. I will reach the engineers and stop this ship one way or another. I will sink this ship before letting you pirates take it. Give you a little, little, little zeal there. Okay. Somebody with some balls. So, and I'll holler up. Yeah, some assistance down here. <laughs> <laughs> Just glances up the stairs. Some assistance down here. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Gargosh is okay with piloting. By the way, there is a handy-dandy autopilot, which is two ropes, if you wanted to like point towards the island and flip the ropes on and then go do stuff and come back in a you know few minutes. Um, yeah. You, you know it's going to take you at least a, like full speed, right? Oh, no, he's got a full <laughs> speed. Yeah, I do have a... But it'll, it'll oh, be wow. like five minutes. That's like 50 rounds of action. So there's time yeah. to do stuff if you want to flip the ropes on and go check on people. Uh, yeah, I, I will flip the ropes on and start heading down below decks. And what's going on with my ship? What's all that noise about? As he tells someone imaginary to voice the main colors. Or no, how does... So you're basically right here on this map. Okay. So, so I can... Yeah, I'll... I'll come down and see what's going on. Oh. As Theo's just, you know, dispensing, you know, her medicines <laughs> and enjoying the wind in her hair. The breeze really yeah, does I, get better out here. Trip. I I secured the ropes, but as I go down... What's going on with my ship? Theo, take the wheel. <laughs> Fido, oh, Capitano. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid now. <laughs> <laughs> so you did. It would take well both of you your be. both of your actions to get down below deck, but you can give a bonus yes. action, which is inspiration, if you want to do it. I think I used all my inspiration during the fight on the dock. Oh, okay. But you still have a bonus action if there's something you'd like to do. Yeah, I'm trying to. I uh, just yell. Um, I didn't use my inspiration. 
something, doggy. something intimidating. Um, cut the records down. Drop your weapons. You're outgunned, outmanned, and your only chance is to surrender. You know what? I will give you that as a freebie attempt at in- intimidation. Go ahead and make the roll. But no advantage. This guy's a diehard. He wants to oh, fight to the end. God. He has had a family member die in each and every war that's ever happened. This is his turn. <laughs> And oh, then, yeah, it is. Okay, Lieutenant Dan. And then you go and roll an 18 <laughs> on us. As yeah. uh, he, he looks at his armor that's got a single bullet streak across it. And he hears your commanding presence in the tone of only what the, the boom howlers can do. And he disgruntedly looks down at his feet and he realizes. There's a body of a friend there. A crack shot here. You have reinforcements from above deck. He's not getting past both of you, and he just drops his pistol and his sword. And he slowly puts his hands up and looks at Callus. The battle is yours, sir. And he just looks completely heartbroken. Oh, I love him. His soul is sundered. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is he cute? No, just you don't know. Somebody's taking a nap instead of, you know, being <laughs> active. Lucky I mean, for Jim, where I c- collect another NPC. Like, oh, <laughs> Everybody's so, busy uh, trying to capture a ship and you're napping. So, Theo, you totally look up on the poop deck and you see that the two ropes are holding the wheel straight and you're heading toward the greasy smear up above. There's plenty of time before you guys get near the island. What are you doing? Um, like, is everything okay down there? <laughs> <laughs> you you shout straight through the little, little deck here where it's got the little grates, you know. Everything okay? Because otherwise I'll follow Captain's orders. <laughs> you know, as well as I can say, do, 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 do. <laughs> Ooh. I got an idea. Are you skipping up to the, the, the helm? Take the helm, but don't touch anything. She's like, I, I'm an <laughs> alchemist. How hard can this be? <laughs> I forget. Which way is which on the boat? <laughs> okay, so Mia is sleeping contently. No one has disturbed her. So she will be asleep, technically, for... Do I, do I have the ability to use my focus manipulation and instead of focus point, just shake it off? No, you're out cold. And remember, shake it off is for Gunny. You're in La La Land for one minute. Wow. So well, maybe like... Callus can catch up during that time. Oh. <laughs> I'm still ahead. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're, obviously, you're, like you're, obviously, you're obviously having fantasy dreams really well. <laughs> <laughs> um. I call down. Are you okay down there? Are you? Do you need help? And, and you hear some random gunny noise. That's it. Mm. Well, you do also it hear the be... very loud thrum, 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 thrum coming up the stairwell. Well, so uh, this this, this right guy already. has surrendered to you. Are you uh, moving on? Taking him prisoner? What you doing? I don't know what's the captain do doing. Yeah. Captain's behind you, and he's just like giving you a, a thumbs up. I mean, yeah, take him prisoner. Make me find out what we can from him about the mission, about the cargo. The thing of ultimate power, or something. The the, the, yeah, the nine demon chest. Yeah, that's the problem. Is is. The I'm thing's so sure. secret, nobody should know that's on this boat. 
How did you guys find out about it? Yeah. What kind of foul items were you transporting across our oceans? And, and he kind of yeah. looks, says, foul items. We're merely a resupply vessel. We're here to resupply the Navy. Don't you see all these supplies? And he gestures. <laughs> what Navy in five figures? <laughs> we are no it. we are noble members of the the Signar Navy. Don't you recognize our uniforms? What do you yep. pirates want? And uh give me a uh intimidation or give me a good skill that you think would be good for interrogation. Oh. Who? Uh Callus. You're the one question. Uh. Yay. Um, Give me a talkie talkie skill, Mr. Dex. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> um, actually, mine's not bad. I'm plus two, so. That's not bad at all. Because I, I do talk to some people before I just shoot them in the head. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love how our snipers turn passive wow. all of a sudden. <laughs> They're, they're, what it is, is you all know they both work for the Mafia. So they're jockeying for position to see who's <laughs> doing better as a mafioso. So I'm going to start with being nice, and we're going to persuade. Oh, you're getting him some good cop. So, it's like, look, we know you had you got some cargo that that's pretty ugly and foul. What's going on here? What do you got? All right, let's see what we get. Hey, look at that. Solid uh, 17 uh, price. Board. Still, he is heartbroken, and his defiance has been shaken. His his core belief system that the Empire is here for the good of all kingdoms. <laughs> As he looks at you and says, down below in the hold, in the, we have a cargo room holding a chest that the captain says, is not to be looked at or touched. It's bound what by... Is it, the Ark of the Covenant? <laughs> it's bound by silver chains and has apparently been protected by her divine magic. Captain's divine magic? Is that what he meant by her? The captain's, yeah. I I don't know any details. As none of us clerk. were allowed in there, but she says that she and she alone should go to the area where we keep the, the, the chest. We don't have a cleric. We don't have anybody with divine. So what was the plan for this foul box? We were to take it to we, we split off from our flotilla and we were returning this to some clerics to make sure that they could cleanse or protect or dispose of it in some way. We, had, we we didn't know for sure. All we were known is to keep any of the deckhands out of the forward storage hole. None of us huh. even have keys to the, to the lock there, only the captain. And, and he looks kind yeah. of ashamed that he's broken and told you this much, but you did give him the gentle touch. He's, he's a sucker yeah. for the yeah. velvet glove. <laughs> I, I I beg at you, please do not disrupt the chest. The captain was extremely poignant on how dangerous the thing was, and to merely be in its presence could corrupt or ruin someone. But you thought it okay to bring it into our lands? We were re merely here to help resupply before we finished our trip. Hmm. Where was the final destination? Theo's voice echoes in your ear there. Callus, do you ask that question? Sure. Uh, unfortunately, the captain and she alone knew where the final destination was going to be. We were meeting up another ship that was supposed to come to harbor tomorrow to join us so the two ships could travel together for protection. Hmm. Obviously, any kind of spits in disgust that he's telling you this. We needed more protection than what was on board this boat. And he just looks looks away in total telenovela drama. Mm -hmm. Yes, apparently. Yeah, 
And level ones can kick your ass. Not we're level two. <laughs> oh, we're level two. And you had the element of surprise. Now who's getting cocky? Proper, proper prior no, planning. I, I forgot to update the little number next to my name. <laughs> <laughs> She's degraded herself. <laughs> proper prior planning. Best poor performance. <laughs> we were we were hastily sent on this mission to get the the item taken care of and away from anyone, including some of our own people. And he looks away like there's more story there that maybe whatever it is is slightly corrupted. Yeah. yeah. From what we've heard, what what we've heard about it, that's not entirely impossible. Yep. As, as but he, on the other hand, he totally looks at you guys, and, and, and since you're being nice, he totally uh, give, gives you this look like, I, I, I must ask, please, whatever you do, rather than let the, the, the item get into the wrong hands, sink the ship, send it to the bottom of the harbor. I don't know the specifics, yeah. but I know it is too dangerous to be oh, in anyone's no. hands. I'm not sinking my ship. You're damn right you're not. Well, the <laughs> ship doesn't have to go down. He just looks... The ship doesn't have to go down, but the box could go to the ocean. Yeah, the box could go down. He just looks kind of sad. No. Looks away. And he's just like, do with me what you will. <laughs> okay, we'll hire you. I don't think that he's the hiring type. I just wanted to see how he reacted. He he totally he, gives you this look of I I would rather you shoot me than subject me to piracy. I I I give you my word I would attempt escape at at any any chance and I unfortunately as a member of the Royal Navy would never degrade myself to be a pirate such as yourself. Well, you have two choices. No. You got two choices, and you can give us your word. I'm assuming it's good, but as an officer of the Navy, and you'll lock you'll we'll lock you in this room, and you'll stay there and not interfere. Or you can jump overboard and fend for yourself. Uh, I we are. A ways out to sea, though, at this point. And, and or he from land. Totally looks at you and says, "I will take your word that you will you will safe me, safely let me disembark at the next harbor, and I will accept that and what fate has from there." Well, just to warn you, we're not going to the friendliest of harbors. Then may I have permission to take one of the rowboats? I look at that. That's the, uh, not unreasnable. Room. Yeah. I mean, you totally yeah, saw that's that. That's not unreasonable. The ship had a bunch of cool rowboats docked to the side being used as armor, you know. Oh. So you hit a button and the rowboat deploys in a cool steampunk mechanical fashion. That's not well, actually a thing. Walk them up. That should be a thing. That's fair. Walk them up well, on deck and let yeah. them load up. And, you and know, once the boat has hit the water and disconnected, I toss his saber down to him. Ooh, and also point out, you know, some of your crew jumped off a ways back. If you're feeling generous. Uh, well, I can't send a man off without being armed. Uh, no, I know. I'm, I'm just. No, no. He totally yeah, nods like, to Boom Howler who who points the way, as you can totally see, he's putting the uh, little automated steam engine on it, because I'm sure the Empire would have automated, you know, lifeboats. Uh -huh. And he, he picks up his saber and gives you both a salute. You uh, have, have changed my opinion of what it means to be a pirate on the ocean, as he gives you kind of like an honorable nod that uh, you're not douchebags. I was told you, oh, we're douchebags. <laughs> it, it give him a nod back. 
Yep, give him a nod back and turn two. As he, he goes we ought to figure out off. what happened to our gal down there. Yeah. Nope, I'm fine. I got this. <laughs> As, uh, I'm glad I'm not awake. If I saw this sweetness going on up there, we are not putting fear into people at all. <laughs> not all about fear sometimes it's nice to make some friends or nicer relationships with certain individuals i mean if if you get a reputation for being fair people will be more likely to surrender than than figure well they're going to kill me anyway so fight to the death no and maybe they won't be so quick to hang pirates oh yeah they'll totally hang pirates and you know who knows? It might help us down the road if we run into this military and they're like, oh, yeah, these guys aren't so bad versus, oh, these are vicious, ugly, evil killers and blow their ship out of the water on site. Ugly? That's just unkind. He wasn't talking about you, boo. You're beautiful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I call him Sweet Face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, you know, you know, after that that touching moment, Theo's watching it. What is Theo doing, by the way? Um, sort of like on the, you know, just kind of pretending to move the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> the ropes are still on it, but she's wiggling it back and forth, enjoying the. Breeze. I got my goggles on for the sun protection. And Looking at buttons, like, going. And I'm singing some. It's like, oh, what do you, you know, like, <laughs> I do the, you know, a drunken sailor. Mm, what do you do? <laughs> you know, and I'm just nice. like, <laughs> she's practicing her sea shanties. Exactly. Looking at buttons, going. What would happen if I push that button? I wonder. Yeah, you know, I'm like that button. I wonder what that Make lever a... does. Tempting. <laughs> <laughs> As they... no, just kind of relax in and you guys obviously assume through. safe on the lower deck because you haven't heard any explosions or Gunny doing anything, and the engines haven't stopped running. Yeah. I get it, but so we as should as find. Tell, it's all good, right? But Mia's never that quiet. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> we, to... we should check on Mia. You guys go uh, down the decks. and as Yeah, go down. As soon as you guys get down around here to this side of the lower deck, down the stairs, you totally look down and see Gunny looking over Mia on the floor. And then Gunny looks at you guys, then looks at Mia, then looks at you guys, then looks at Mia. This is what happens when you have an Intel of five. And looks at you guys, right. and looks at me. Yeah, go down, Ooh. give her a boot to the rib lightly. <laughs> okay, so you, yes. you, you, you gesture her awake, which, by the way, she's just asleep, sleep, so it just takes a little, little bump, bump to wake her up. Unfortunately for a mechanical engineer, the throbbing of the engines were not loud enough to wake her up. That sounds like sweet, sweet mother siren. All right. Oh yeah, so, <laughs> and you I'm do notice standing. that the door in front of her is slightly ajar. It's it's been opened. Oh, okay. Her thieves' tools are the in her door. hand. The jar. So, so the she door. wakes up the with the, with me staring down with a big grin at her. Ooh, like, he's huh. got one on you. Shut up! I got the door open. Just... <laughs> it's uh-huh. fine. Right. You guys, I'm pretty sure there's something really cool in here. Mm-hmm. It's, Kelly should go so you, first. Yeah. It's, <laughs> so, you, so you opened the door and decided it was time for a nap? Huh. I, I I might have forgotten to check for tracks. I mean, <laughs> but I'm sure it's mine now. <laughs> You're welcome. And I feel so much better after the nap, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 100%. I feel refreshed. You should have given me another half hour. I would have got a short rest. 
<laughs> it's not that you forgot to check. You just checked the hard way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, of course, if anyone well, looks at the door, you clearly see there's a spot where you can replace these little cl clear crystal vials. And it can be any kind nice. of poison you want there. You, if only you knew an alchemist. <laughs> so, I will use the uh, uh, tip of my r rifle to kind of reach out and kind of push or pull whichever direction the doors go. They are a pull door. All right, so I'll kind of wedge it and pull the door open. Okay, and as soon as you pull the door open, you obviously see that there's uh, some magic in here. There's a magical circle and a very large chest. I'm going to cast... Oh, I didn't get to do anything. It's not my turn. Very large chest. In the middle... are, are we still doing initiative or are we just... We're, we're out of initiative. Doing... Yeah. So you can do... I wouldn't worry about casting uh, detect magic oh. because that circle is going to be magic. Okay. Okay, and I'm would, sure it's a, uh, a warding. And I'm thinking we should leave the chest in the circle. There's this beautiful, silvery, energetic Wait. magic circle there glowing. There's no doubt that this is a magic circle because it's magic and glowing. And uh, very large chest. It's got like dark iron spikes sticking out of it, but it's got like loops of silver chain around it with one big padlock. That's not imposing. That's no. all silver. <laughs> I can pick it, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't Let's think we not. should pick it. Um, yeah, remember no. the. <laughs> Does. Uh... <laughs> Journalists are, are not nice people. I mean, pretty yeah, much universally, somebody... every kingdom got pissed at those guys because they're jerks. Yeah. Anybody have uh, Arcana that might be able to identify markings on there by chance? I do. Um, I do. Oh, but maybe somebody has higher than me. No, no. I have I, a six. I, just... I have a plus three. Yeah, I'm zero. So. You want me to try with uh, my six? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. I have a one arcana. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with your 12 for arcana, you can definitely tell that this is a uh, protection circle. And uh, obviously, it's not whoever set the protection circle. They put lots of oomph into it. And that this is a, it's protecting against a certain type of creature. Would it be demons by any chance? She can't quite make out in the magic ruins, but uh, that's a strong possibility. And that is the rumor, so. Well, I mean, that one guy said infernalists were. Above all, we got to keep it under the hands of infernalists. So, can we just not throw it overboard and keep the ship? I mean, we could throw it. Well, because we're in the middle of the ocean. You well, know? no, you're okay. you're not you're I, not in the ocean. Or, you're in the five fingers. No, zone. you you can see yeah. the other islands. Yeah, the question I think we should be asking is if we're willing to just throw it overboard, are we willing to accept the chance, the greater chance then that Infernalists will be able to find whatever this thing is and therefore use it against the Five Fingers? I mean, everybody agrees, even pirates, the Infernalists are the biggest douchebags. And they Did are- sell it to clear it? Sell to who? Clerics or oh. good people. Oh. Yeah, we take it to deep sea and drop it. It's probably a lot less chance than it being on a ship that somebody can find somewhere. Yeah, but the thing is, without the warding, they may have a way to track it. That Yeah. 
Hmm. We could ransom it back to. I don't know Empire. enough of uh, those ways to uh, know anything about that. Yeah. So. Magic, you um, just say hokum. Do, do yeah, I hey, know anything found, about We found your ship adrift. Rest- We'd like to sell it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just ransoming the the chest. Yeah. Or we just unload sure, all the other it. stuff. That's From or her hole, can she tell if the silver chains uh, and padlock are connected to the warding spell? Uh, they, they are. They, they are something separate. Okay. I oh. And in the sketch chat, I will only share the picture of the chest. Guys, I want to open it. Do no. not. Touch it. Do not open it. In I fact, shoot you. that's how every supernatural horror movie starts. <laughs> Have you ever heard you. of Pandora? <laughs> yeah. So it um, looks fine for her. Not in this I dimension. Will... They did not have that lesson yet. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> so, um, my suggestion: we unload the cargo, everything, but into a cove, and then we can let. Uh, Engineer dudes sail it back to wherever. But the boat. Yeah, but it's a boat that we can't do anything with because it's got that on it that we don't want. Would the engineers be able to s- steer it back to wherever? Uh, they could keep the engines running. I mean, you usually need at least five people to pilot the ship. Yeah. And it wouldn't be, you know. Wait, we have. What time is it when the other ship's supposed to come in? What What do you say? Tomorrow, sometime. Yep, and and it's like five thirty in the morning right now. So you got plenty of time. So we unload all the cargo in a cove somewhere. We take the ship. We plot, park it back where it was, and leave it. And pretend nothing happened. Right. Well, uh, Someone clean the blood off the deck. <laughs> yeah, of course, and the no, crew no. mysteriously. Yeah, well, that's not for us to figure out. That's for them to figure out. So. Yeah. Just, just, one just thing... take some blood and write on it and say, "Demon." <laughs> that's the our one best bet, I think. downside of that is it does yes, leave the boat unprotected anymore. Yeah. Well. We can watch from a distance and make sure nobody goes down the dock. Yeah. It's either that or shows up. It's either that or sink it. Nah. Because if we sink it, the the warding room can you tell if that's like a permanent circle or uh, if it will decay over time? Uh, it'll definitely wear off after a few days. And uh, on top of it, the chest isn't, like, bolted to the deck. So if the chest slides, it can slide right out of that, cir- that circle. The circle is stationary uh, and magical in the ship, but the chest is just a very, very large chest. And, you know, like, if you sunk it and the ship listed, the chest could conceivably slide right on out. I mean, you yeah. guys can walk through okay. the magic circle if you want to try. I mean, no. <laughs> Is I, any one of evil? One of the guys walk through. Is e, any of you of evil, evil alignment? No. No. Which I mean, I right now. Then I the magic be, circle not... merely looks cool. It just looks cool. Floating circles, uh, little little rune things spinning around in it. High uh, particle effects in your RPG. Yeah. Does Gunny have an alignment? He kind of cut like his backstory is kind of like not always great. Does he have an alignment as a? Uh, he's he's pretty much neutral. I mean, he's okay. Okay. He he does not okay. do anything of his own accord. He's merely the tool of people. I think I agree with Callus. Let's take everything but the chest off the boat. I'm sure we got a cove somewhere we can. You know that we operate or have operated out of yeah. to stash things for short periods or something. Gunny and I are going to walk up to the top deck because I'm too tempted by this thing, and I've already gotten in trouble with the group already. So I'm going to go mess around with the steam jack. Well, again, you can blame that on me, though. I will take 
Yeah. Anyway, um, broad shoulders. I'm more salty about but going back to zero and my my like game against Callus right. than like oh. actually killing the dude. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> but you know, this he just awesome. made that up. I mean, who who defines the hey. rules? You're here. That's hey. right. <laughs> Me. That's right. Gargash is the captain of this ship. He makes the rules. That's just some weird mafia game that those two play. I mean. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah. Gonna, well, we totally chalk it up to them being those weird mafiosos, you know. Right. So I will post myself as guard on the door and Okay. So uh okay. captain goes back up on deck, you know. Yep. Theo is doing a great job steering. The island is still dead ahead. The ropes are still holding. The ropes being the best Good part. Job. One, the one Good. lieutenant that, or the guy that was like sneaking out the door that shot Callus. What kind of weapon did he have? He had. Did just he happen a, to have a pistol? He did have or a pistol. A, some kind of rifle? Nope, he had a pistol. And uh, if you look in the Skype chat, you will totally see another item that was interesting on the ship was the diving suit armor. That there is one yeah, of those on the boat. Oh, I thought I thought that was from tonight's game. I thought that was my environment suit. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the steampunk diving armor because you know they have to have it. Sweet. Minus the fact that... 350 gold, hot diggity dog, I could buy some stuff finally. <laughs> That's not all for you. <laughs> oh. well, She's already shopping. Okay. Oh, that's, that's what it's worth. Well, you've got all this coal. Coal for days. I don't know how you're going to get it back to your island, but coal for days. Yeah. Anyway, fine bit of seamanship, Theo. You are relieved. So Boomhaller takes the, t the the helm, and the greasy little smudge comes into, into to view closer now that you've, you've traveled for quite a while. And the island is there. It's basically a smith of an island. It's basically a bunch of rocks, a little like three building thing, a nice long dock, a couple old rickety, slightly water filled rowboats, and plenty of space for you to pull up at the edge of the dock. Now. We don't want to sell this chest, do we? No. I, no. I think that I would be uncomfortable doing that. Yeah. Um, you could just sell the fact the chest. that I'm all for live and let live kind of thing. But Infernalist, This not chest could so get you much. like two million gold I mean, the right business person. What if we didn't sell and it? And by right infernal. business person, I mean someone who will probably cut your throat to, to, to take you from you. Yeah, Joel, uh, the, yeah no, the evil that it presents uh, it not safe for the world uh, my race has already been through being ravaged enough that no and i've kind of turned my back on the whole capitalist nature of the you know the the local ruling populace so i'm i like money <laughs> i like money and power and it's both and i'm walking away from it begrudgingly. Yeah, yeah. but Infernalists wouldn't, you know, they're bent on world domination and oh, they no, would they're reduce not, they're not bent on world domination. They're don, don, built on eating souls. And yeah. And reaping them like wheatgrass. Yeah. No, thank you. And the best yeah. part is all of a sudden, you know, Theo realizes, wait a minute. This is one of my hometown ships. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's her, it's I her that. it's her people. And she looks up at the the flag on the ship and she's just like, hmm. like the uniforms that all that that type of stuff. Yeah, yep. no, I knew exactly. <laughs> Didn't just realize. Okay. You see the old home flag on the the mast of the ship. So go ahead and give me your uh watercraft roll for docking the ship. 
Yeah, okay. As uh, I'm assuming you're having your crewmates get ready because there's nobody hanging at the harbor to, to catch the ropes. You're going to have to jump across real quick. Yep. Yeah. You are taking the flags down, right? Did you of take course. the flags down? Yes. Just to make yes. sure because there would have been Lower a little hubbub flags. if the ship would have been coming in hot and heavy. Yeah, we don't want to be attacked because we're the... No. <laughs> I mean that that's <laughs> SOP anyway. Um Okay. So Oh fiddlesticks. Okay. Um Now watch how a pirate docks a ship. Dun, 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 dun. He comes in sliding sideways. Get Dunk just taps the Lands dock. the controls that do that cool ringy sound as he changes the control settings. And then you get the response yeah. from the one engineer below deck that he acknowledges the order. Okay, and yeah, just slide it right in. 16, you bring it in like a boss. You know, we actually have no issue with Callus just stepping off the boat to get to... to Tie the ropes on real quick. Not me. I'm down guarding the door. Yeah. So, so who's going to tie the ropes on then? I guess it's going to be me. Theo's like, please don't catch your hand in the ropes. As she jumps off and ties the ropes. Totally has some alchemical yeah. glue concoction ready if need be. My knot doesn't hold up with this on it. <laughs> don't glue the ropes. <laughs> Alchemists. I've tied a knot with alchemy. It's called the solid ball now. <laughs> okay, so you I'm guys. I'm going to call it glue. Do you, I'm going to call it my extra special uh, coagulating um, uh, co uh, cohesive uh, uh, um, adhesive. Cohesive adhesive. Nice. But also a waste of rope. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to have but Mia th throw any orders to the engine? Uh oh. Are we wanting to not be known? Do we not want this to fall back on our, our gang, or do we want it to be known that we were here? This is a huge heist. You want to brag about this. I mean, it's up to you guys. <laughs> I'm asking the group. <laughs> Bargosh, what do we want? Do we want to be known well, as being here? You know, okay. in this case, no. Uh, normally... Okay, so I'm gonna... Go ahead. I'm going to tag the Oni clan, like my clan that I'm from, and hope it falls back on one of my brothers. Ooh. Oh. Uh, okay. So you're, lo you're dropping wow. some disparaging evidence? Yep. Nice. Ooh, that's welcome, dirty. Guys. I like it. That I approve. It's just if something goes wrong with this, I don't want us attached at all. It's very on brand for yeah. them too, so we'll be yeah. fine. Ooh, dropping yeah, some false clues way, on the familia. And this way, if we if the infernals do come looking for it, we're not technically associated with it. Right. I mean, I'm all for reputation, but in some cases, <laughs> there are bigger concerns. I mean, this is... Should I put a big marker for the Oni clan somewhere on the ship? Ooh. Why, I don't know who carved this into the, the till. <laughs> I thought I had it written down, but I don't see it in my notes. What's the name of our gang again? You're the Forsaken. Yeah. That's right, the Forsaken. And I'm sure Theo says yeah. second character. I forgot. What's our gang again? I write well, down yeah. so many things, it's hard to remember, and I drink mm. so many fumes. <laughs> we are the Forsaken. Oh, speaking <laughs> of fumes, um, do you have something you could re-booby trap that door with? Yep. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Um, probably some somewhere. Nobody's checked the captain's quarters. That's true. Well, I do have. Surprise me, it hasn't been in there. 
stuff to make acid grenades or explosive grenades. So the only thing that I could do is either oil it, <laughs> you know, so it works a lot better, or, I mean, acid would probably not be a good idea because it might eventually just eat through the lock. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, the explosives, again, you know, we want to keep the lock intact as opposed to, you know. Well, like Can I go into the, go and check Captain's out the Captain's probably quarters? has extras. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, could you at least identify something if we find it in the captain's or a, yeah, probably the captain would want to keep it. Well, yeah, enough, I mean, so. I would basically probably have to use a proficiency, uh, like a intelligence, uh, basically. Um, I mean, we don't have like an alchemy skills role, um, so I would probably use intelligence. Jim, when I rolled the captain, did she have it on her? Uh, well, well, nobody actually looted the captain, just the sailors that you threw overboard. Is someone going to yeah, the captain? The only thing you took oh, was the helmet hat. and put it on Gunny. Oh. Well, then I'm, I'm definitely going to check her and then go to, the ca uh, to her room. And, and I'm assuming you guys disposed of corpses before you guys got to harbor, right? Yes. A couple splashes so of sea water on the deck. Yeah, somebody said they were doing that earlier. Oh, uh, well, that was just who. before they ran back below deck to start uh, finishing the clearing the deck. Uh, it, it's going to take time because you left a lot of bodies on the deck there. I mean, we got to clear the corpses. We've got to loot the captain and officer's rooms, and we've got to unload our, this, all this cargo and hide it and unload the coal. Well, so we're going to be here. Right. Oh. And we're also going to have the the um, engineers come to full halt, halt the engines and and um, relax for a while. Tell them to but stay don't below come out. deck. <laughs> yes. Okay. Tell them to stay at the ready. And that's a great place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to D and D Journey of the Fifth Edition a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Please follow us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash CPPN to never miss a show or stream. 